Peter, thanks very much for joining us. Firstly, just tell me a little bit more about uh, RLI Investors in terms of the company and focus. Well, RLI Investors is um, one member of a larger group of, of real estate property firms, including a brokerage house, a development arm, and us as an asset manager, basically. The first member of our group was established in 2005, which was Relogis, that's the agency. Yeah, they've been on the market now for 15 years. We were established, our investors, in 2013 with the idea that after the, a specialized agency, our founder, Umut Ertan, he wanted to set up a specialized investment firm only for logistics property. Since then, we have invested two funds with now nearly a billion asset under management. And now we're just about to launch the third fund. What are some of the challenges that you've seen um, or changes in the investment markets? And, and has that had an influence at all on the strategy at RLI? Prices are increasing. It's getting more crowded in the market and especially for the properties and the land that are suitable to deliver any form of supply to urban areas for online shopping. There it's getting very crowded and expensive. Obviously, RLI groups well known for being active, particularly in Germany. Um, but in terms of the international side, uh, are you now expanding more outside of Germany? Yes, and I think we've started that process a good two years ago that we opened up to to international markets. We've done many roadshows looking into the various different logistics markets outside of Germany. We have hired um, a very competent team um, with significant experience outside of Germany. So I think we're very well, well prepared to to take that step. And obviously there are risks associated with international investment. Is that a challenge or are you able to roll out what you do in Germany into the other markets? Well, the markets we're looking at are they're all EU countries. And we're also actually looking into the most stable EU countries with the most robust economic outlook. Um, namely, this would be the Netherlands, that would be Poland, Czech Republic. They have outperformed other European countries in the past and the future looks very bright there, just in terms of general macroeconomics. But they're also logistically very relevant locations. Therefore, I think we don't take on additional risks. Um, it's more we're taking on chances, such as in Eastern Europe, where we still see a potential for growth or additional further yield compression, combined with a country that has a very positive outlook both Poland and Czech Republic, in terms of economics, but also in terms of infra infrastructure. So there we do think that there's growth happening. Great to catch up, Peter. Thanks very much for joining us today. Well, thank you very much.